Good morning and welcome to Homestead Hopeful. My name is Kim and this is my 11th garden tour. Come join me. This week has brought a few garden pests, so I am going through and just harvesting everything that is ripe and just gathering everything because I have a bunny in the garden. The bunny has caused quite a bit of damage to my green beans. These are Lucas's beans, so that is very disappointing. They were doing really well, so that is very sad that they look so bad. The bunny didn't just eat them, it demolished it. The bunny put an end to my beautiful lettuces. Every single last one of them, including my cut and gum come again lettuces in the pot. So that would have been harvest number three. Hope he enjoyed them. He's even starting to eat these beans. And look at how lush and lovely they look. Of course he's eating them. Look at them. Very, very frustrating. I cannot figure out where the bunny's coming through. You can see my fence line here. I have this regular critter fencing right here. Then it is doubled up with two layers of chicken wire, um, one on the ground, and then one that actually lays um, horizontal against the ground and comes up to, against the fence to keep any gaps from coming. And then, it's hard to see, but you can see it in the sunshine. I have bird wire or bird netting that is all the way around the base because I had a baby bunny well apparently there's another bunny coming in and causing quite a bit of damage so I'm just harvesting what I can and check out this squash isn't that interesting this is supposed to be a saffron squash it's like a mix of zucchini and yellow squash. It looks definitely more like a yellow squash to me, but it's supposed to be very prolific and a bush type. I'll show you the plant in just a second. But isn't that neat how the little vine kind of fused to the fruit? It started to split there. Apparently I left it on a little too long or it was just hanging down and the weight couldn't hold it. But I will still eat that. Then I got some cucumbers, which is very, very exciting. Some of the green beans I'm pulling off of this plant because I don't want the bunny to eat them. Although it, I do have to say, it doesn't look like the bunny's eating much of the green beans. It's just eating the leaves. I got some of the yellow globe tomatoes. I don't know what brand or what kind variety that is. This one either. I don't know what that one is, but it's from Fruition. These two are from Fruition Seeds. They came in a mixture pack that's a couple years old, but they're doing well. And then I've got some cherry tomatoes down there. A lot of them split because we had some rain. And I probably should have picked them a little bit earlier. Here is that saffron squash plant. It looks lovely, trellised up like that. I think I would do that with it from now on. It's just really pretty. This is the same one. I mean, it has powdery mildew. I'm not even bothering to deal with it, to be honest, because I figure whatever I get out of it, I get. It looks like, looks like pollen, but I don't know where it would have come from unless a bee came out and landed right there. <clears throat> so anyway, this started drooping, and I noticed that I have definite signs of um, squash bug. I opened it up there and squashed a whole bunch of, I don't even know what it was, whether it was larva or what, I'm assuming larva, but squashed it and pulled it out of there. I didn't cover it up with anything just yet. I didn't have anything. Um, it does look kind of moist in there again, so I'm wondering if something else is in there, but I have a couple more squash that I'm going to get off of it. Even if that's all I get, I'm completely fine with letting this go. I just don't have a lot of time to keep an eye on it and continue to come out here and do surgery on it. My potatoes are still looking very, very green. They're starting to die back. Yay! I can't wait to see if there's anything that comes out of these pots. My green beans have just been sort of a disaster. Even the chili, uh, the char, char, sorry, even the chocolate runner beans, they're putting off beautiful flowers, but no beans. So apparently whatever I got in my pot just is not working. Uncle Willie's started off um, a little iffy, only one out of I think six five or six 
bean plants grew and now go figure it's the only one that had survived so I'm letting these harden these might be about there oh yeah there's little beans in there so I just opened up that pod from Uncle Willie's and that's what the dried bean looks like and you can see the reddish tan pod there green with like these red streaks through it that's what it looks like we didn't eat any um, green ones I did want them for drying beans I clearly did not plant enough of them to mount to them much but I wanted to give them a try so there's that cucumber bed is still attracting a lot of cucumber beetles so I've been knocking off a bunch of them but they are clearly faster and better than I because they're still all over. I am getting some cucumbers. I still got lots and lots of these little guys, like this size. So, we'll see. And I figured out which plant is the, it is this guy right here that is sharing the pot with the cosmos. He hasn't bloomed yet. And the reason I know is check out these fuzzy little guys. Isn't that the cutest? Little tinky tiny Kajari melon. I have no idea if there's even enough time in our season, in our zone, for them to ripen, but we shall see. I think so. They might just barely. This super sweet tomato plant has been looking very, very sickly for quite some time, and what's funny is it must have heard me, because look at how nice and green and beautiful it is now. It was very yellowy and looking kind of sad. So it's looking definitely a lot better now. And what I did was I had side dressed it with brand new compost. So compost that I have had and I've um, churned, made. So I side dressed it and within probably a week it looks so much better. Like I almost feel bad for threatening it. So it does have some fruit left for it to ripen, so thankfully I didn't just yank it out. I was very close to yanking it out and putting something else in it. So this guy will live a little bit longer. Okra. Look at that. I can't wait to see what these look like. They're such beautiful blooms and they are just gorgeous when they're open, so I can't wait. Very exciting to see that. That still makes me happy too. Oh, and look at that. I have some Perslane growing in there. It's supposed to be a medicinal plant, so I guess I'll leave that. It's just in the flower one, so I don't really care too much. Look at that cosmos. It is almost as tall as I am. Look at this. That's crazy, right? It's almost as tall as I am. <laughs> It hasn't bloomed just yet, but it looks like it's going to put off a couple when it gets there. That's what happens when you take the cucumber out. I side dressed this, this with compost as well, topped it off, mixed it in a little bit, and then planted some seeds. So the funny thing is, is when you do your own compost, <laughs> it definitely did not get hot enough to kill off all of these little seeds. I don't put weeds in my compost, so these aren't weeds. I, they might be tomatoes. I'm not really sure. They could be just about anything. You can tell though that I, the peas are starting. That's a little pea plant right there. Got a nice little one right there. So these definitely are not peas. I don't know what they are. I'm inclined to kind of let them grow a little bit longer just so I can see what they are before I pluck them. My tomatoes are going strong and getting very, very top heavy. I don't have a ton of room. I should top them at some point. I just don't, I feel awful. I hate cutting off the tops of blooming plants. Isn't that really pretty? I can't believe it's still putting off flowers, but I'm gonna have to because it's getting really, really heavy and they're just all toppling over. I've made some sauce, which was delicious. Tasted absolutely nothing like canned sauce. So they're looking really good. They're still putting off lots and lots and lots and lots of fruit, lots of green fruit. I just gotta figure out a better staking method. I don't know that there's a lot that I can do right now though because 
I'm, I'm just kind of at the maximum of what I can do for my space. I just harvested my teeny tiny little watermelon. We will try that today. I have one more. And the little tendrils on that one are not dry yet. They're getting there. It's hard to see. It is the nasturtium in that pot has completely taken over. Which is kind of funny because it got off to such a slow start. I didn't think it was going to do much. But it is starting to trail up where the cucumbers are. So that's funny. Working pretty hard at keeping the cucamelons contained to their tiny little posts there. It's a daily adventure because, as you can see, they just try to go up and everywhere. There's those kajaris again. Aren't they cute? They're so fuzzy. Here's the cucamelons for today. Not too bad. I get some every day. The peppers still look really good. These are the California Wonders that, although this, that does not look like a California Wonder. This definitely does. So I wonder if I had another variety hm. and didn't know it. My seeds were old, so I, I mean, it's possible that I had a different variety and I just didn't write it down because I didn't think it would germinate. But that is interesting. But they are doing pretty well, putting off new ones, so that makes me happy. Oh look, I missed a cucumber. He's going to come with me today. My honey nuts are doing good. I have at least three of them on this plant and one on the other one. These will turn like golden, orangey, brownish sort of once they're ready. You can see that the cucumber beetles have just been making uglies. So if I mean, if I was going to sell that, people might not want to buy it, but at least it's just for us. I'm not all that worried. So that's exciting that I have those at least. I do have a bunch of tomatoes that I'm going to have to pick. So I think I'm going to make another round of sauce. All I did was I put them in the crock pot. I sliced them open into like quarters and then put them in the crock pot and that seemed to save me a lot of work. Look at my broccoli. It has actually survived the little green worms. It's getting very tall. Man, I just kind of want to eat those leaves. They look really inviting. <laughs> oh, look at it. Eat my sequoia bean, you little critter. How frustrating is that? How funny is it that within the whole thing of the lettuce, that little critter didn't eat these bright red strawberries. Seriously, not that I'm complaining, but that one could have stayed a little bit longer. But seriously, what a dumb bunny. And it looks like it left these little starts alone, which is good. Maybe I'll see if I can get some leftover fencing and just kind of put it on top of these to protect them. I don't know. Look what I see. Seriously, it reminds me of an adult Easter egg hunt. You just look for all the ground cherries. Isn't that something? They're just all over. Oh, look at that. The bunny didn't eat that either. Hmm. That's interesting. 